You're going to be working around fuel replacing the pumps, so let's take some basic safety precautions. As always, you should be wearing safety glasses whenever working on your vehicle. Now is a good time to put on some gloves to protect your skin as well. Work in a well-ventilated area without any sources of high heat or open flame around. If you smoke, now is a good time to stop. Most importantly, have the proper type and rated fire extinguisher handy and know how to use it. You're going to be working around the electrical connections of the pumps, so begin by locating the ground post, yellow arrow, on your battery and disconnecting the cable, red arrow. Make sure the cable cannot accidentally come in contact with the terminal while you are working. The rear pump draws gasoline directly from the tank and is located under a plastic cover mounted just behind the rear cross member as indicated by the red arrow. Unclip the plastic cover from the rubber hangers and remove it. With the cover removed, you can see the line from the tank into the pump, red arrow, and the banjo fitting for the line out, yellow arrow. Use an 8mm wrench and remove the ground connection, red arrow, and then a 7mm wrench for the power side, yellow arrow. Place a large hose clamping tool on the input line, red arrow, to stop the flow of gas. If you do not have the proper tool, you can try wrapping vice grips in a rag to pinch the line. Do not put the metal teeth against the rubber line. This is also a good time to check your lines for any aging, cracks, bulges, or dry rot and replace as needed. With the hose pinched off, remove the Phillips head screw from the hose clamp and wiggle the line off the pump, as indicated by the yellow arrow. Be prepared to catch any gas remaining in the line from the pump to spill out. Use a 17mm wrench to hold the pump and another 17mm wrench to remove the bolt, red arrow, through the banjo fitting, yellow arrow. Remove the fitting from the pump. Note, always replace the brass washers between the fittings on the lines. There are two rubber hangers that hold the pump. Lift the pump off the hangers, yellow arrow, and remove the rubber from the pump, red arrow. Inspect the condition of the rubber hangers and replace them as needed. Installation is the reverse of removal. There is a second pump mounted under a protective plate in the right side of the undercarriage. Remove the four 10 mm plastic screws, red arrows, and pull the cover down and out. Use care as all kinds of things can collect under the cover. With the cover removed, you can see the pump, red arrow, and the fuel filter, yellow arrow. To replace this pump, use the same procedures you did on the rear pump with the following exceptions. The input line becomes a hard line and wraps around the pump to join it at the rear. Pinch off the soft rubber line before the hard line connection, red arrow, and then remove the Phillips head screw. Clamp and slide the rubber fitting off the pump, green arrow. The pump is held in place by two Phillips head screws, yellow arrow. Remove the screws and lower the pump down. The new pump may come with a rubber sleeve. If it does not, transfer the sleeve on the old pump to the new one. Installation is the reverse of removal. With everything in place, turn on the ignition and check for leaks. Turn off the ignition, reinstall the cover plates, and you are good to go. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.